Uh, Sydney Harbour, despite being an amazing hub of biodiversity, still has a lot of what we call built environment. Most of the edges, about 60 to 80 percent, are artificial. Now these have sort of taken away a bit from what was there way back originally. So the reefs themselves are an attempt to put some of it back and see if we can attract back those little fish. Fish, especially reef fish of course, really need small pieces of habitat, hard rock with little shelters. Uh, we went through many different designs and uh, for various reasons uh, we decided to have these fixed structures close to the bottom. This project was supported by a collaboration between the University of Technology Sydney, the Reef Design Labs, the Sydney Institute of Marine Science and the project's assisted by the New South Wales Government Environmental Trust. I think the purpose of the project really is to help inform research and ways that we can roll out similar types of models in any area around Sydney Harbour where there is an artificial seawall or even around the world. Given my past experience, I'd expect an instant uh, increase in some of the fishes uh, around this area, but more uh, long term, in the next year or maybe two years, we'll see encrusting of these and arrivals of fish we haven't seen before. This World Environment Day, the Sydney Opera House is celebrating three really important projects. The Artificial Reef, the Five Star Green Star Rating and the Renewable Energy Power Purchase Agreement. Over seven years, the Sydney Opera House will be investing its entire $2.4 million energy spend into New South Wales Renewable Energies projects. We're always continuing to set the bar higher for ourselves and looking for ways to further reduce energy, reduce waste and also reduce our overall environmental impact but at the same time inspire our community.